today presents a Big Ten clash between the three and five Minnesota Golden Gophers and their arch rivals, Michigan, ranked number 13 at six and two for Minnesota. And dealing with the noise here is going to be a key for the Gophers today. And a flag on the first play of the ball game. Redmond runs it off the left side over Cumpy. Not much happening there. It gets to the 15-yard line, brought down by Sean Lazarus. He hit with three interceptions this year. Second down and 15. Redmond again, this time making it out to the 18-yard line before he's brought down in the play. Johnson split to the bottom of your screen. Instead, they run it. Redmond with some room, brought down short of the first down at the 27 by Charles Drake, the strong safety. That was a good, strong tackle by Charles Drake in the open field on a powerful runner like Tellus Redmond. Big tackle. Helps Michigan get a three and out, and that's a stand that they keep track of. Green 28. Hand it off on first down. After that Perry five-yard run. They run a little counter this time to Perry again, and this time he's brought down right near the line of scrimmage. Navar finds his receiver for the first down at the 41-yard line. Complete to Bill Seymour. Always keep an eye on number four, Walker. Navar on the play fake. Completes the pass to Bell on Minnesota's side of midfield at the 47-yard line. Leaps and bounds in that game. First down and 10. Little draw play, Askew in the ball game. And he mows his way all the way down to the 40-yard line. Versatile back, second down and two. A three-receiver formation for the Wolverines. Handed off to Askew, who has the first down. And he has the ability, as you can see, to break some tackles as well, down to the 32. That's good hard running, and Minnesota, for them to stay in this football game, cannot let Michigan run the football. Michigan struggles running the football. Not what they wore. Right there, you see him being patient, keeping his legs driving, missed tackle. Got to get him on first contact. It's something that Glenn Mason of the Gopher is a little bit concerned about was their ability to bring people down. Get your head across the gate. Yep, right. First down and 10. Perry back in. And brought down after doing a somersault at the 23. You play the drive, second down and one for Michigan. Play fake, Navar. And a flag on the play. Out of different personnel to try to confuse the defense. They've been real efficient in the red zone this year. Askew, touchdown. That counter OE play. I call it no E because it's a tight end, not a tackle. If it was a tackle, it'd be counter OT, but it's counter OE. Epstein comes in to add the extra point. And the Michigan Wolverines, who've won 12 consecutive games against Minnesota, take a 7 to nothing lead here on Parents Weekend. Glenn Mason regrouping his team, hoping to get a score when we come back. Steve Belisar is starting to find his way with that offense. Second and nine, Navarre complete to the tight end, Seymour. Still on his feet and brought down at the 36. The bar wide open to Walker. And Walker gives Michigan a first down and 10 from the Minnesota 8. They're spreading out the defense on first and goal. The bar on the quick slant, incomplete. He's marching up and down the field on second and goal. The same play. Same result, incomplete. This one a little bit behind Walker, but he might have been able to catch that. Walker now split to the top of your screen on third and goal. Complete, but brought down short of the end zone is Seymour. That is a tackle. Yuki Dozier. And the fans vo voicing their opinion. And it's picked off in the end zone. 
by our Justin Isom. A huge 10 and a big play by the Gopher defense. Reception that Navarre has thrown this year. First and 10, Abdul Khalid as he goes up top for Johnson. And Johnson makes the catch at the Michigan side of midfield at the 46. Matched up on Todd Howard. Abdul Khalid's going to keep it himself. He has the first down and then some. All the way down to the 26 yard line. That's what he gives you. Good three step drop. They go to Johnson. Makes a play lunging near the first down marker at the 16 was Ron Johnson. Minnesota with three first downs so far. The fade. A wide open. Touchdown, Johnson. A busted coverage by the Wolverines. And it's one point away from being tied up. See Jimmy Hermans. He's going to go crazy. Softly, and as much as Minnesota has been outplayed so far statistically, where it counts on the scoreboard, Ron Johnson's team is tied with Michigan, seven apiece. He's performing in front of a lot of friends and family. He's from nearby Detroit. We'll be right back. Ron Johnson with a touchdown catch moments ago for Minnesota. He's bringing it out of their own end zone. And deep into Minnesota territory. What a return. Todd Howard, the DB, making a nice return deep into Minnesota's territory at midfield. That didn't happen. Men aware. Gonzalez in the ball game now, and you can expect some trickery incomplete. Jermaine Gonzalez came in for Navarre quarterback. Do some things with that football. Run a little option. Gonzalez keeps it himself. He's brought he's down at the 40. It'll be third down. I see a quarterback draw right here, Mark. Got the field spread. Mishandling the snap is Gonzalez, and he's in a heap of trouble. Sacked back at the 48 by Greg White. First down and 15. Underneath, complete to Barber. Gets back some of that yardage out to the 27 yard. Would be third down. Incomplete intended for Henderson. Dual Kalik way off the mark on that one so far. 41.5% on third down this season. And he eludes the rush for a little bit, but then is brought down by Rumashek. That's his seventh sack of the season. Yeah, Rumashek does a nice job here of turning the corner once he gets past the offensive tackle with the tight end. You'll see right there, Utech beats him with a quick swim that turns that sharp corner and secures Kalik. Ruin it to put it's blocked. And the Wolverines come up with a big play. Tyrese Butler. They're getting it done. Ask you in, he gets the call. Touchdown, Michigan. Two plays after the block punt. And the Michigan Wolverines lead 14 to 7. Courtesy of the blocked punt. B.J. Askew run. Jermaine Gonzalez still the quarterback on this drive. Two tight end formation. And he has Seymour just missed him at the five. See, now I got to say this. Now, Gonzalez does a lot of great things. John Navarre's in there. That's a touchdown. Navarre's the holder. Keep your eye on that. Epstein. Blocked. Blocked by Greg White. And Minnesota. Responds with a blocked kick of its own. Third That's down. the rule. Yep. Third down and eight. Abdul Khalid's going to keep it himself. Does he ever? Gets out of bounds at the 34 with nine seconds to go in the half. So they would like to move this one in range just a little bit more. Pass complete to Johnson. And they call for a timeout. This one from 40 yards out.
And he's right down Main Street between the pipes. Glenn Mason's team heading into the locker room with a bit of momentum on their side as they try to snap the 12 game losing streak against Michigan again this third quarter of play. Howard at the seven. Howard still on his feet. His second big kickoff return of the game. Brought down finally by Sims. 17. That was the first penalty of the ball game against Michigan. I set up the screen this time to ask you. And you know what? Good well play, Mark. And there it is. Yep. Ask you again. They're calling his number, and he's answering the call. First down at the 20 yard line. Yes. All right, folks, you heard him. 3 6 says, Watch the depth of the tailbacks. They run the reverse this time to Bell. Two on two out there. They both win. Got a great block. Touchdown, Michigan. And a great block by Marquise Walker in the end zone, keeping Yuki Dozier occupied. Matt Anderson again. It's, it's the center coming out and doing a great job of leading that reverse. Well executed play. At two on two, they won the battle. have come out. FC's extra point is good, and it's 21-10 for the Wolverines. Bell on the reverse. 2-1-2. Two two. You see John Navarre getting Jack Root. That's second great block John Navarre's had today. Anderson with a block. Faithless job inside. Nose tackle. And those guys in the trenches. Redmond couldn't hang on to it. The pass was a little bit hot. On the little stretch play, Redmond got a block and has Henderson a blocker ahead of him and it's tripped up nicely back at the 30-yard line. Drop in to see Bo. He's still coaching. He's coaching me how to do TV when I was visiting today. Second and four to the tight end. Complete. And Jopru couldn't get his footing back. He's starting to come on offensively, as you noted. First and ten. Nice cutback by Askew. Impressive for Michigan, kind of disappointing for Ohio State fans. First and ten. Here's Askew. They are milking him. And the milk tastes kind of sweet. Askew out to the 41. A nice chunk of about seven. Askew the lone back. Walker on the catch. Still on his feet, and finally brought down to the 50-yard line. First down and ten. Perry now in the game, breaking one. A touchdown saving tackle by Justin Isom. He's excited. Michigan now crisp with 200 yards rushing. They come right back to Perry. And at some point, you have to know how to run the ball effectively. Navarre on the throwback to Askew. And the Minnesota defense. Shut him out right now. The defense is the Tenth play of the Michigan drive. The slant almost intercepted. Intended for Walker, broken up by Jack Brewer. From the left half. And this one is not blocked. And he knocks it through. So Michigan has scored 10 unanswered points here in the third quarter with 6.17 to play in the period as they lead 24-10 when we come back. Five for the Gophers. Draw play, Redman right down short of the 25. That's her biggest stat. The time of possession really started to be in favor of Michigan. Incomplete. Intended for Johnson and blocking for the run. Dual Kalik. Intended for Johnson and incomplete. Frustrating day for receiver Ron Johnson, performing in front of his family and friends here. And he's sacked back to the 30-yard line by Bradley Vance. Close the in front of the ball. Look at this, an empty formation by the Wolverines. Quarterback draw, get people spread out. They run out of it. Gonzalez out near the 35. It'll be third down and about six to go. He'll be a decoy this play. He split wide to the top of the screen. Navarre. Oh! Caught by Walker. 
Walker at the 40. Hands of glue. Marquise Walker with the first down at the Minnesota 40 yard line. That's a great throw by Navarre getting the, the ball over the outstretched arms of the linebackers. You'll see it right here. He's got a chance to make a play and it's over the top. Now one of the problems and with that the sticks to make him throw over to get my safeties in the game. Ask you on the run. Pulling down to the 35 yard line. That's what's in vogue now in the NFL, those big tall receivers. He's looking Walker's way and finds him. Brock down and shy of the 30 by Isa, 52 catches. He's moving in on all his buddy AC. Yep. Third down and one. Perry. Looks like he got the first down at the 29 yard line. Spielman and Holly Rowe. Michigan leads Minnesota 24 to 10. First down and 10 from Minnesota's 30. Here's the reverse to Walker. And pushed out of bounds in a late flag at the 10. White was there, and he may have come a little bit late. After that 18 yard pickup. Touchdown. It's a great job by the offensive line getting surged and Perry showing some nastiness. Running up there without hesitation, put his head down and take. Epstein with the extra point. Michigan leads 31 to 10. The second half has belonged to the Maze and Blue. Number 23 and his teammate in the backfield, too. Number 35. Right here it was Perry. And he's very, very good. Look at there's a jug. A little brown shot. Somebody's got to show it to Mace. He said he's never seen it. Well, Michigan certainly knows what it looks like. It's been in Ann Arbor for the last 13 years under heavy guard as Holly Rowe uh, pointed out a little earlier. Let's check in with Holly. Hey guys, the man getting it out is the equipment manager for Michigan. He's been here since 1972. His name is John Falk. He told me that the biggest fear he has in his life is having something happen to this jug. It is going to be the mark of his retirement that he had a successful career if he can get out of here without breaking the thing. If we only knew where that jug has been, huh? <laughs> The guardian of the jug. Brewer making the tackle on cross. And that's the final play of the ball game. Michigan defeating Minnesota 31 to 10 the final. We'll be back to wrap things up from Ann Arbor in just a bit.